shuttle or in the space station, you don't realize which way is up or down by the feel of it. You realize about what the side of it. If you're not looking at the entirety of what's around you, and you're looking at one little thing, your mind will go and flip you upside down instantaneously. My name is John Harrington. I'm a former NASA astronaut, and I want to welcome you to the Kennedy Space Center. The human race went to the moon from this place. That's the excitement of being here at the Cape. My path to become an astronaut started when I went to this test pilot school, got an advanced degree in aeronautical engineering, I applied a couple times to NASA, and the second time I got a really neat phone call to be interviewed. And I thought, if the only thing I do in my career is interview to be an astronaut, that's, that's cool. I really honestly never thought I'd get selected. I'm spending a week at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center talking to folks from all around the world. I think I have a chance to educate people on one, what NASA's doing, what NASA's done, how I became an astronaut, and hopefully they, that it resonates with them and they take it back and go, wow, I didn't understand that before. The mission I flew on in space was STS-113 on the Space Shuttle Endeavour in uh, November 2002. And this is John Harrington, and our first Native American in space. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. My primary mission there is to do three spacewalks. The thing that I feared most out of the spacewalks was making a mistake. People had this impression of what an astronaut does. They've done everything perfect. They've been top of their class. They've had the best grades. But not everybody. I made my share of mistakes in space. The thing was, when you make a mistake, how do you overcome the mistake? If I share that story with others, then they'll take ownership of it and go, I know what he's talking about. That's why I like that. What was that one moment in space that changed my perspective? It was being on the end of the space station, looking out over the edge of the Earth in the vastest universe, asking myself, what else is out there? You'll see John here, he's going to go over the edge, and this is what it looks like on the edge of the universe. That's a view you don't see every day. Frame a picture in your mind. Remember it. I remember that for a lifetime. They call it the overview effect. And one of the things you realize, you can look down at where you grew up, and you can see all the places you went, but you can't see any of the people. And you can't see the, the, the details of that. It made me feel really small. It made me feel really insignificant. But I realized this is a very unique thing we have here on the Earth. I'd say, let's fix our planet. Let's use whatever exploration technology gives us to make our life here a better place. I lived in space, I lived underwater for 10 days in the Florida Keys, I rode a bike across the country, so I've seen the world from three different really unique perspectives. It makes you appreciate it that much more. What can we do to make this world a better place? That's the future of space. <laughs>